Okay, We're, we have downloaded the latest version of Carlson Serve CE 3.01.7. We're going to configure this version of Serve CE to run the Carlson GPS RTN rover. new last job, new job. We're not going to connect because this is the first time that we've run Surf CE 3.0. We're going to go to equipment here and select GPS rover. GPS rover is a Carlson and Surveyor plus GPS. It's picked up the settings from the previous set up and we'll just go ahead and go through them manually so uh, that is correct the manufacturer is Carlson and it is a Surveyor Plus GPS unit we go to comms here that is correct we go to receiver and it's starting the GPS receiver Antenna is 2 meters, elevation mass 10 degrees, that's fine, 1 hertz, store vectors in raw data, sure. We're going to go over to RTK tab, and here we're going to configure this, this is correct, data collector internet and trip, RTCM 3.0, and we're going to pick the icon here, and we're going to put in the key net. And that is correct, and everything is correct there. We're just going to pick OK. And we're going to see about connecting to RTCM 3. So we pick OK. Now we're going to pick the green button. Connects to the internet. Successful connection. Let's go to monitor sky plot. And we are already fixed. 13 of 13. And uh, these are the quality of the position. We're going to go to position here. And geoid shift. Geoid. Uh, we're going to grab. Uh, we're going to upload a different geoid here. Let me uh, minimize this and let's bring up Windows Explorer here. Browse the contents of your device. Let me go to the C drive. Here, let's scroll this guy over so you can see what I'm doing. Go to Carlson Projects. I think it's in Demo Files under Opus Log. And there is the file. We want to copy and now we scroll down. Here's the PDA device. I called it J2. And now on the data collector, going to go to program files, search E data, and we'll just paste this guy in here. There it is, Phoenix PA. Okay, we're going to cancel that. And we're going to reload Serve CE. Now, we're obviously not on the geoid, so the ellipsoid elevation is 30. So we're going to pick that key here. And I want to go to job settings real quick. Go to system. And we're in decimal feet. Okay. Interesting. And, uh, oh, I see it's v uh, VA North. Well, definitely not in VA North. Uh, PA South is not loaded. So let's go to edit project projection. There's PA South. And we'll pick the green button or double pick on it, either one. Now PA South is loaded. We go to 
equipment, pick the localization, go up to GPS, pick geoid file, and there it is, Phoenixville, PA. Click OK. And now if we go to monitor sky plot, still fixed. We go to position and there we have it. It is an ellipsoid elevation of 30 but the geoid shift is negative 11 which gives us a local elevation at this location of 142.11. So if I come up to reference I just want to see how far away the base is and the base is about nine and a half miles from where we're located. Okay. Well, that uh, it is configured. At this point, we're going to go to survey, do uh, store points, and I'm going to do configure GPS. Um, I'll do uh, ten, 10 averages. And now we're just going to do the store. Okay. Okay, we have stored that point there. Exit out. And we're going to log raw data at this location. Start resume. And we're going to call this P Bill. And I'll put in parentheses one. There's a two meter pole, one second. That's good. Okay, that is logging data, and we can close that later uh, by doing this. So that ends this movie. I'll close it uh, manually. Um, when I'm done. This movie I'm going to end right now. So, we're done.